Hello, welcome back to M Battles. Here, bringing you another episode of Craftopia. Um, this is my automated Splendid King Momo farm. Um, it's way easier and way simpler than the old one I had. Well, it's not easier or simpler actually. I, those were lies. Because <laughs> the easiest way is just put a large cooking pot where he spawns and just stand on the platform and wait. But this way, you don't have to build a platform, you have to wait. So this is the more complicated way to farm, but the best way to nearly 100% automate them. If I was able to grow mushrooms, which I might be able to do in an update that's coming out soon, I might be able to uh, fully automate it. So let's go and take a look. How uh, I'm going to show you how we're going to do this. Now, I'm going to kill him. Because, like I said, when he, uh, when he sees you and aggro's on you, if he stomps on the ground, he'll destroy all your builds. So, that's why you want to just kill him real quick. Well, that's why I'm going to kill him real quick. So I can show you how everything works and get in there without having to worry about him messing up my builds. But he'll draw up these King Momo helmets. You can use this for gear, enchants. Or to sell, I would sell these because 1400 and 500, and you can get this like around every five to ten minutes. He might he usually drops it every time, but sometimes he doesn't. But at least like once per like kill or two kills, he'll drop it for sure. And then uh, you're gonna need well, that's basically it. You just get out the bow and your poison arrows and kill this guy real quick so I can show you how all this is working. And those legendary helmets sell for like 1400, 1500. So those are way. Uh, yeah, it only takes like three to kill him by him with four just to make sure he dies. So let me show you what's going on over here. Here's a monolith. This keeps everything active while I'm not here. Let's see, that usually sucks it in. Is he gonna do it? Yep, there it goes. It takes a little, it takes a second. Uh, yeah, but obviously these are stores. Uh, whenever the uh, King Mono dies, he drops his loot, and then one of these stores will, of course, suck it up. Every five minutes, he stores yourself, so they already got some stuff in here. And that might have just been from just now, but yeah, this is a pretty good way to farm. Uh, it's like 14, probably be like 1400 every five minutes, maybe. Five or six minutes, give or take. Now with these multi scenes, you're going to want to set them up to like every like four to six minutes, I think. Because you know it's going to take like a little while for it, the poison stacks to take effect and kill it, uh, the mono. But it's not going to take that long. So like probably every like five and a half minutes, because it probably takes like 30 seconds for a mono to die once you hit him. Maybe a little bit less. So like four to six minutes, somewhere in between there is a sweet spot. I'll probably set it up every like 5 minutes and 30 seconds, something like that. But right now I have it on 5 seconds because it'll just be easier to show you. So this is um, kind of like my uh, my old build but slightly improved for my machine gun poison arrow thingy cannon I had. The only difference is now I'm using pipes. But other than that, like pipes will make it a lot less laggy, you know, because the droppers and absorbers, I guess, cause lag. But I got this thing, it'll be full of poison mushrooms. So let me just show you how one of them works real quick. Let's see, this one should be good. Oh, yeah, I should really take this out real quick. Sorry. So to get this all like set up and prepped and started, what you're going to want to do is come here and then, yeah, boom, and then that's set up, you want to come to this one, go down, see I don't know why it like doesn't set itself up again automatically, but that's why it's kind of annoying, I think, at least I think it might not set itself up automatically, I don't know, it's a little finicky. That's why I don't really do many builds anymore. But boom, you want that like that. And what's going to happen is you're going to just come over here, stick poison mushrooms in you. And you could probably have a chest. Oh, that's too much. 
you could probably have a chest that supplies all these chests with poison mushrooms to make it so you don't have to go to each and every chest individually and it'll be faster but just for time's sake I just did it like this okay let's see boom that should start making the poison poison will travel through this into the chest and the chest has a craft connector onto it so is this chest back here craft connector right there and then this one has one right here and then boom it'll send that there and then it'll start sending this to that uh, multi sling and then eventually once that gets sent it'll just start firing and it'll make a lot of arrows see it's already started firing now it takes up a lot of poison so just remember that just stop it I just take out all that stuff also you need wood in this chest and you can make like an automatic wood farm to just farm you infinite wood and then have that somehow drop it off here into that chest either through pipes absorbers droppers or like the drones that fly around and pick up wood can also do it so you got a couple ways to approach that there uh, this one let me just throw some mushrooms in here just to see if this starts a little test. So I don't think it will just start up automatically again. Oh, it does. Okay, cool. Let's see if the bow does. Ah. Uh. See, that one, did. that one wasn't set up for some reason. I don't know why. It should have been. It was the last time before I saved and quit. So, like I said, you're going to have to, like, restart this every time you come in. I guess. That's kind of annoying. It should just... See, this one automatically worked, but... The rest of it didn't. I should probably take out this poison before it just starts making a bunch of poison. So, let me just get this set up. Make sure everything's working out. It should be working. That's why I don't do this build that much. Hopefully uh, the devs will fix it. Make it more uh, reliable. Not break down all the time. That's why I don't do this build that much. You know? It's finicky and annoying. And it shouldn't be. It should just be straightforward. Because it's not that complicated. You see how the process goes step by step. I'll set up these. King Mona should just spawning sometime. He spawns about every five minutes I believe. Give or take. Alright, boom. Now all these are set up. And I bought a bunch of poison mushrooms so I'm not worried about like I have it set up five seconds uh fire at five seconds per yeah, every five seconds. Just to save time and for the sake of uh showing you guys how this works without having to wait all that time. And yeah, this should work AFK because you can't heal uh, fast enough. These arrows kill them too quick. So let's wait for all this to start making it before I summon him. I want all the multi things to be firing before I even start summoning. I think they might have updated it because it seems like uh, the world bosses are a little bit more wise now to my antics. So let's check it out. Summon him. See if this is gonna work how it should. See, he's stuck right there in between those two conveyor belts. Fire, got him. See, and it should only take that one volley just to kill him. But like I said, it's going every five seconds, so he dies quickly. If I really wanted to, for like overkill, I could set up a fourth one, and that would just like ensure him dying. So let's uh pull all this out before I waste all my damn mushrooms. And as you can tell, I don't really need money. This is more for you guys. Uh, if you guys just want to do this, get some money real quick. It's easy, simple. Materials to build all this stuff isn't that expensive. As long as you know how to create farms. It's pretty uh, simple and straightforward. Pulling all this stuff out so it doesn't waste all the uh, poison and everything on something that's not there. There we go. Yeah, I don't really like building 
this game, especially with the nighttime that comes and I can't see anything and I gotta go home and sleep at the base or just put down a bed and ruin my spawn. Nice. Let's see. He should have dropped some stuff. Go check uh, the vendors. See nothing's there, so I must have picked something up. If I can take a look. See one egg, ten. That's not worth anything. That's just eight. So. Let's see, five hundred. So you'll probably make like five hundred to twelve hundred every five minutes. If he drops a helmet, if he drops like. Need the goo or need the other stuff. Probably take you a little bit longer. But yeah, that's the uh, that's the automated farm. Oh yeah, and I have these two conveyor belts pointing uh, in the same direction. So like, when he, if he spawns a little bit off, he'll just automatically be forced in the middle. Because sometimes he'll spawn like a little bit to left or right, and the arrows won't hit him. So these just ensure that you don't hit them every time. And you can make all this stuff right now in game. All this stuff is available. And so, if you guys like what I'm doing and like my build, uh, comment, subscribe, and leave a like. Until next time, see you guys later. Oh, that is.